Greetings and welcome to Caribbean Vanguard. In case you haven't heard, there's a rumor that Disney have purchased Epstein Island for $3 billion. That's the island that sits in the Virgin Islands between St. Thomas and St. John. Now before people get excited, we need to take a step back and realize what is going on here. Right? There's a time and a place for people to be like water and follow the path of least resistance. And then there's a time and a place when we have to take the path with the most resistance in order for us to survive as a people. And many people get offended with that, the idea of a people. We were a people before they broke us down into nations or, or before we became nationalistic in our thinking. We were always united. So, until we get this thing together, and a couple of us, the good ones, start pulling together, we don't need the 90%, just a few good ones who see what is going on. Until we unite and realize the advantage we have in being spread out throughout the Caribbean, we will get run over. It is not that these people are smarter, stronger, more intelligent than us. It is not that they have more people than us. Their numbers in the Caribbean, in Africa and other parts of the world are very small. But the few of them are united. They have one common goal, or you can call it one common enemy, one common destiny. They're not worried about the other 90%. They got a few of them that are on the same page. And until we figure this out, because I hear many people talk about uniting with this person and uniting with these nations and stuff like that. Look, until we learn to unite with ourselves, until we regain our identity or create some identity, I don't care what it is, because in the Caribbean, because we have such diverse background, and I'm talking about the African people, and when I say diverse background, I mean, in, I mean that we have different tribes in us from throughout the continent and some even have some indigenous in them as well that makes us a unique people and we share the same roots and culture but africa is still our home with that we have to maintain some form of unity there's a time and a place to follow and there's a time and a place when we have to take the lead we cannot sit around and wait for the UN to come and unite us because I guarantee you if they decide to come to the Caribbean and say they're going to unite the Caribbean all of a sudden we're going to follow that drum roll why we why do we have to why do we have to wait for other people to tell us hey unite are we waiting for politicians this is what I would say to you if you can with 100% certainty tell me that your politicians are 100% for the people of the Caribbean. That their allegiance are not in other places. If you can tell me that they only serve one master and that is the people of the Caribbean and you can prove that to me, then I will back down. But I know you can't. And that is why the common people need to get it together. If we really believe in this idea that we are all humans and created equal, then why is it so off balance? Why is it that certain groups are the ones able to buy up all these islands and so forth? Well, we have to understand when we look around, when you hear people say we are all humans, what we have to understand and be honest with ourselves with is that there are a few common denominators that affects those in Africa, those in the Caribbean, and other places. There are a few common denominators, a few common key players behind that. Religion is one, colonialism is one, and the mindset is another. I'm sure there are more as well. But we have to get it together. Why is it that everywhere we go, everywhere I go, 
you can go to Africa. Who owns the safaris? Who owns the zoos and all these hotels and lavish places that tourists can go and enjoy? Who owns them? Go to South Africa. The minority owns these things. Go to the Caribbean. How are we comfortable with that? How do we sit back and have time to do anything other than regain some type of leverage or some type of competitiveness? The Asians move to the Caribbean and instantly they are competitive. The Arabs do the same. It is simple. They are unified. They are unified in who they are. And they come and they blend in with the community, blend in with the culture, make some friends, and of course they got some money that comes with it as well. But all of them don't have a bunch of money like that. They just take the little that they have and put it together. And they keep grinding at it. 